Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning we're going to take a look at literal arrays, or arrays in general. To create an array on the fly, you just type the pound sign, parentheses, and then the objects space delimited. Now you can do this with literals. If you wanted to create an array of more complex objects, you need to actually do some object creation, which we'll get into in the future. But if you want an array of literal objects, like numbers or strings or symbols, you can just toss them in like this, a so pound, paren, the numbers. Pound paren, the numbers, followed by another array. Notice how I've embedded two literals in here. I've, well, actually four literals. I've got three numbers and a literal array. Here I've got three literals. So I can put in this and say, is it empty? And I'll print it and it'll say it's false. I can ask this for its size. Notice that the size is going to come up as four because I've got one, two, three objects, four objects. This array itself has three objects, but in the outer array, there are four things. So you can do these sorts of things, and if you want to insert things in here, I can say, hello, squeak, at two, put pharaoh. So at the second object, put this. Now, I will say one thing about this. Let's go ahead and print that, and it'll put in that. Notice that I've replaced the second element, squeak, with pharaoh. This works in pharaoh. This works in squeak. This will not work in either Visual Works or Object Studio because of immutability. So you need to be a little careful with the way some of these things cross small talk. If I try to cover cross-platform or cross-dialect small talk in the future, I'll go into more detail about this. But this kind of small talk code is not safe for doing cross-dialect work. So keep that in mind. In any case, literal arrays, that's how you create them. So, until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.